Forest Babies by Joan Emerson. Introduction. Forests are large wooded areas full of trees and shrubs that can be found in countries all over the world. Many baby animals make their homes in forests. Some of them live in the tall trees, some live in the wet soil, and some live underground. Turn the page to meet some of the world's cutest forest babies. American Red Squirrel. American Red Squirrels are found in forests throughout North America. They hibernate and store food just like common gray squirrels, but their fur is red instead. They are also much smaller than common forest squirrels. And the babies, called kits, are even smaller. When a kit is born, it only weighs a little more than a quarter. Many generations of red squirrel families store their food in the same place. The American Black Bear. Black bears are the most common bears in North America. These bears can weigh over 500 pounds. They are also excellent tree climbers. Even though they are called black bears, these animals can be brown, blue, gray, or even white. Black bears hibernate in the winter, but a mother bear can wake up to give birth and care for her cubs. When it is born, a black bear cub weighs less than one pound. Most black bears are born in litters of two to three cubs. The white-tailed deer. The white-tailed deer is the smallest type of deer in North America. A baby deer called a fawn has small white spots that cover its fur. These spots camouflage the fawn and help keep it safe from predators. As the deer gets older, it grows a full brown coat. At birth, fawns weigh less than an average house cat, but white-tailed deer can grow up to 300 pounds when they are adults. A white-tailed deer can jump up to 10 feet high and run up to 30 miles per hour. American Pine Martin. The Pine Martin is found in Alaska, Canada, and the Northern U United States. It is about the length of a house cat, but it weighs much less. Because of its small size, the marten can climb trees and jump from treetop to treetop. If it falls, the marten can twist its body in the air so it lands on its paws from as high as 60 feet in the air. The American an American pine marten's tail is about one third the length of its entire body. The New World Porcupine. The New World Porcupine is the biggest kind of porcupine it can be found in North American forests. A porcupine is a rodent that has more than 30,000 sharp needle-like quills. The quills lie flat most of the time, and when a porcupine is threatened, its quills stick up to prick predators. A baby porcupine is called a porcupet. Its quills are soft at birth, but in just a few days, the quills harden so it can protect itself. A newborn porcupine weighs less than a pound. The red fox. Red foxes make homes all over the world. They can be found in Europe, Asia, America, and Africa. In North America, red foxes usually live in forests and build dens underground. Red fox babies can be called kits, pups, or cubs. At birth, a red fox can weigh about the same as an apple and has brown or gray fur. Its fur turns reddish brown as the fox grows older. Every winter, a red fox's fur grows thicker to keep it warm. A red fox's den has a series of tunnels connecting smaller rooms. The bobcat. Bobcats are the most common American wildcat in North America. There are about 1 million of them in the United States. 
These cats are not often seen because they are sneaky nocturnal animals. Bobcats are known for their short or bobbed tails. As a kitten, a bobcat weighs less than a pound. As an adult, it grows to be twice as big as an average house cat. A bobcat can pounce on its prey from over 10 feet away. The timber wolf. Timber wolves, also known as gray wolves, are the largest of all canines. Timber wolves are pack animals, which means they live together. Sometimes a pack has up to 20 wolves. All of the wolves help care for a litter of pups. A wolf pup weighs a little more than a can of soda at birth. Soon, a baby timber wolf joins its pack, where it runs, tumbles, and even plays hide-and-seek with the other pups. Wolves use their barks, whimpers, and howls to talk to other pack members. The gray tree frog. The gray tree frog is a common frog that lives in treetops across the United States and Canada. Despite its name, the tree frog is not always gray. It can also be green or brown in color to help it blend into its surroundings. The newborn frogs called tadpoles hatch from eggs laid in water. They weigh about one ounce. After six to eight weeks, they become small frogs. A gray tree frog can freeze about 80% of its body to survive cold winters. The woodland vole. The woodland vole is a mouse-like rodent that lives in forests in the eastern and midwestern United States. Voles live most of their lives in underground burrows with their family. Voles are small animals, and at birth, the pups weigh about as much as a penny. As adults, voles only weigh about as much as a slice of bread. Voles are known as pests because they sometimes eat the bulbs people plant in their gardens. Voles usually only live about three months. The coyote. Coyotes live all over America in forests and mountains, but they have adapted to live in big cities too. Coyotes will eat anything. They hunt animals like rabbits, fish, and rodents, and they also eat fruits and grass. In the winter, coyotes live and hunt in packs and baby coyotes called pups become a member of the pack as soon as they are born. A newborn coyote weighs only as much as a can of soup. Coyotes can run up to 40 miles per hour. A mountain lion. Mountain lions live all over North and South America. From forests in Canada to the fields of Argentina, these big cats can also be called pumas or cougars. They are the largest wildcats in North America. Mountain lions are excellent hunters. They prey on porcupines, coyotes, and even deer. The baby cubs are born blind and, ha and deaf and weigh about the same as a football. But within a couple of months, they learn how to run, jump, and stalk their prey. Mountain lions can leap onto a tree 15 feet high. A moose. Moose are the largest members of the deer family. These animals are found in North America and Europe. The male moose are called bulls. Their giant antlers can grow up to six feet wide. However, each winter they shed their antlers and new ones grow in their place. A mother moose called a cow gives birth to one baby calf at a time. The calf weighs about the same as a preschooler when it's born. Moose are great swimmers. They can swim up to six miles per hour. The hedgehog. Hedgehogs are mammals that can live in a variety of habitats, including forests. Hedgehogs are commonly found in Europe, Africa, and Asia. 
Hedgehogs have spines that look a lot like a porcupine's quills. When a hedgehog is threatened, it rolls into a very tight ball with its sharp spines facing outward. At birth, a hedgehog baby or hoglet is a little smaller than a playing card. Its soft spines appear within a day or so of being born. They become harder after a few weeks. Hedgehogs can survive many kinds of snake venom. Forest Babies by Joan Emerson.